Good morning to all, and to all a good morning. It is Friday, August 20th. I decided that I'm gonna vlog this whole week. I'm gonna do Friday to Friday. I think it'll be one video. We'll see. I just have a lot going on. Uh, starting today, I'm going to Seattle. We're going to do an emo night up there. It's a pretty quick flight, it's not too bad, but I'm going for, for um, like 36 hours or so, and then I'll be back. Zion National Park mug that we got on the RV trip, which was about a year ago. Crazy. I'm out of cold brew today. So I had to have that flash frozen coffee that Morgan got me. Um, it's fine. I just, you know, prefer cold brew over hot coffee any day. Remember when I kept getting styes? I think it was because uh, I would sweat and it would get in my eye while I was doing the Peloton. So now I have to wear these super cool uh, headbands. All right, pagans anywhere, 80 to 100, resistance 25 to 45. I just got out of the shower, I'm packing up and I'm getting ready to go. And I got a notification on my phone. I've been flying for, for years now and I've never seen this before. I opened up the Alaskan Airlines app, it says flight rerouted and then it says diverted through San Jose. So I'm not really sure what that means. I don't know, we can't get through to Alaskan. It's 9.30, I was gonna leave for the airport at 10, so I'll probably just figure it out at the airport, I guess. Thank you. What did they say? She said that I think it may have been like another flight I had to stop and do something in San Jose, and she was like, but this flight will go directly to Seattle. I see. She said, I don't know why it's not updated on the That's weird. Thing. So mine is fine? Yeah. It was just like a weird thing in the app? It must be. Well, she said that. I, I don't know if it was like a, the flight before it or something. But she was like, it's not going to be stopping in San Jose. Okay, great. She had to look. I don't want to go to San Jose. That would be the worst. That would I would just book another flight. There were no other ones I was looking. Oh, oh my yeah. God. It's never easy. I guess it's like really bad right now. The flights? Across the airline industry. I know. Because they're losing staff. Mm -hmm. I get it. Goodbye, Pee-Pee. I love you. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, you be good for mom. Yeah, buddy. I'm fucking going. <laughs> <laughs> Say sorry that I never get any cool shots looking out the window or the plane landing or anything like that. I always sit in an aisle seat because I have to pee so often and I hate inconveniencing people. So I always sit in the aisle seat. I don't get good shots, but at least I can go pee. This is actually a pretty sweet room. This is way nicer than <laughs> Motel 6 in San Diego or where we stayed at San Francisco. Uh, he gave me a pretty big room. It's got like a little living area here, desk, pretty nice big king bed. And yeah, it's just like really big. Got this whole wet bar over here. Hi, closet, let's check out the shower. Honestly, really nice room. Way nicer than what we usually get for these emo night shows. 
And I think we're walking distance to a Whole Foods, which is great news for me because I've only eaten rando weird keto snacks like almond butter and Quest bars. This is crazy. The Whole Foods is directly across the street from the hotel. So tonight when I come home and I'm kind of drunk and hungry, I will have keto snacks and I won't be tempted to order McDonald's on Uber Eats. So I'm just gonna do a little Whole Foods haul and show you guys what I got. I got this huge thing of electrolyte water. Found some of these keto cups. I don't know if you can see that, but these are really good. Blue cheese stuffed olives. This room has a fridge in it, so that'll be nice for later. Got some egg salad. I don't know, my friend Susie was talking about egg salad yesterday, and I really wanted some egg salad. Found this keto shake. Thought that might be nice for the morning. A little chunk of breakfast cheese. <laughs> Stumptown cold brew. And parm crisps. So I am all set. This is uh, my journey to do keto while on the road. Good morning to all. It is Saturday morning. I'm just packing up a little bit. I just took another shower. Um, I'm gonna meet the crew for a little breakfast. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do all day today. Uh, my flight's not till four, so I can't really leave for the airport till like two. But check out at the hotel is at 12. It's only a couple hours, I'll figure it out. I brought my baby drone with me, um, so I should be able to fly it wherever I want in the city. I also just got the new Kanye West album. Uh, the one that he's been saying that he's gonna release for weeks and hasn't released. It got sent to me last night. Uh, so I put that on my phone and I'll probably walk around and listen to that today, which I'm kind of excited about. All right. Got everything. I think I'm leaving these behind because they're disgusting. They taste like burnt ass. This is so heavy and I just I can't carry it around all day. And I'm gonna be peeing all day, and I won't have a place to go, so RIP to the electrolyte water. I also leave behind me this chunk of cheese. All right, let's go meet the crew and get some breakfast. Do you guys wanna say hi to my vlog? Hi. <laughs> this is Mare, Mike, and Christina, and they help us run the Emo Nights in Portland and Seattle. They all did a great job last night. Very proud of you guys. We killed it. It was awesome. <laughs> uh, we're going to get breakfast now. Are we going to a vegan spot? We're going to uh, the same spot? It's a vegan friendly spot. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Good for your keto diet. Yeah, they're all vegan and I'm like keep the opposite of vegan, so it's kind of <laughs> hard to to find a middle ground, but we're making it work. Everybody's gone. Meredith and Mike and Christina are back on their way to Portland. And it's about 12.20 right now. I don't have to go to the airport till like two. So I'm on my own to figure it out for like two hours. Adventure day in Seattle, solo edition. Honestly, I love Seattle. It's so nice, it's so quiet, it's green, it's not like crazy dirty or busy or anything and it just made me realize how much LA sucks. Uh, like we went out to brunch this morning and it was just so easy, we didn't have to wait too long for a table. It was just nice, it's just nice here and it's like 70 degrees. LA it's so hot all the time. I really am enjoying being out of the city for a minute. I'm on my way right now to Starbucks Reserve, like the crazy reserve roastery. I've only seen this, I think I saw Kara and Nate go here, and I've seen a couple other people go to it, but it's supposed to be like the craziest uh, Starbucks around. All right, well this is the line for Starbucks Reserve. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's like emo night or something, am I right? Uh, maybe I'll go get in line. What else do I have to do today? All right, well, I'm giving up on that. 
no. It's already like 1, one thirty almost, so and I still haven't flown the drone, so I'm going to go find a spot to do that and not waste my time waiting in this uh, Starbucks line. Hello. Good morning. Hi, Timmy. It's okay. Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you want a coffee or anything? Yeah, do you have any? Yeah. It took so quick to get here. No traffic? Nothing. That's always my first choice, but the they green one? They like run out of it all the time. <laughs> at like 9.30, so 15 hours, 15 hours in Vegas. And we're gonna, we got the okay from our business manager that we can bet a certain amount of money. He was like up to a hundred dollars, but then he was like, let's all put in a hundred. Yeah, 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 he was like, you're each allowed a hundred dollars. And so we, but we can pool it together. We could, but then it's all, it's all a risk together. Yeah, but it's a bigger risk. It is. And a better bigger risk. Bigger reward. Yeah, bigger reward. There you go. Slot right in there. Right next to this bad boy. Hey, good morning, Kanye. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what is that? There was like a video of him uh, on TikTok that was like viral. Paparazzi. Waiting outside of his garage. And he's like, hey, good morning, Kanye. And he's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> To Vegas. Uh, we're meeting one of the guys from Pollen, the partners on Emo Night Vegas Vacation, the production guy. His name is Joe. We've only seen him on Zoom. Um, we're waiting for him. He's flying in from Denver and uh, we're doing walkthroughs of all the venues for the festival today. It's gonna be very fun. What's up, guys? What's up? Yeah, it was interesting. How's it going? What's up, man? TJ. Joe. What's Hi. Up, yeah. okay, hello, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Out of the screen. Ricky. Yeah, Ricky awesome. and Gus. Hi, man. Morgan. Morgan and Gus. How are you? We're in and out today, so. Let's go that way then. This is Randall. He's our driver. Hey, hey. Hello. 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 Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, whoa. Picture of him taking a picture. I like it. It's all right. A half hour. Yeah, we have plenty of time. Okay. All right. We're good to go. Hi, Paris. Whitey. All right, guys, we're about to do our first walkthrough of one of the venues for Emo Night Vegas Vacation. This is the location of the pirate pool party. Um, Ricky just reminded me, it was probably like exactly five years ago, me and Ricky and Babs were here doing a uh, warp tour. And we were just, we were just, uh, <laughs> I missed them. 
Um, we were just a vendor in the parking lot with a tent, but it was like the most fun weekend. And poor Ricky was an intern at the time and he was just out there all day. It was so hot my phone wouldn't charge. And I was inside drinking screwdrivers, playing video yeah, poker. Is that the peppery room? Mm. I wish I had a driver all the time. Yeah, Hello. Love, love this is real. so nice. Thank you so much. Hello. All right, should we let Randall pick the casino? Okay, so we have a bunch of people that told us to put money for them on black. <laughs> Will That's you, can you just pick a casino for us? Like whatever one you think that we should go to to do that? Uh, which one were, are we gonna win? Randall's pick. I'm a big fan of Mandalay Bay. Let's go. We're going all right. Bay, Bay, Bay. More like Randalay Bay. I know you were already there. Outside, man. Here we go. Come on, Black. That's awesome. This thing is awesome. Oh, it's on oh, green! What does that mean? What is green? <laughs> it's all on green. Guys, it fucking landed on green! What does that even mean? Have you ever heard of that? Wait, nobody ever says, I want to bet it all on green. It's red or black, I've literally never heard of green. Yeah, that guy gave us a bunk ass fucking That roulette stinks. Good morning to all. It's Friday. It's Friday to Friday. We made it the whole week. It's been a crazy week. We started one week ago today when I was getting ready to go to Seattle and we finally made it all the way through. Today is the day of the 303 album release show. So Emo Night is playing with 303. We're doing like an hour set before their set. It'll be a little bit different than what we're used to. It's not like a normal Emo Night. It's pretty much like a 303 show, but like we can't do all the things that we normally do, like having people on stage and all that. So to spice things up, I ordered a few props on Amazon. Um, we got a lot of inflatables, we got like streamers, confetti, glow sticks. It's all in these boxes. So tonight should be pretty fun. Uh, but before we get there, I have a full work day ahead of me. We have to go on sale with our LA party and Morgan and I have to record our podcast and we have a couple other events that go on sale today. So we're not there yet but almost. Sheila, how you doing? Can't even see you because it's so bright out here. Look at you. You relaxing in the sun? Where's your coffee? There you go, little white. It's a... Uh, 3.30 right now, we just finished doing the podcast, and guess what? Boxes are gone. Morgan took half, I loaded up my car with half, probably gonna leave here in about an hour, so we can load in for tonight's show with 303. You excited? I don't think you're coming, but are you excited, little baby? 
Or are you sad because you miss Timmy? You miss Timmy, huh? Your boyfriend? See your boyfriend? You embarrassed? Okay, well, I actually didn't end up recording a lot of Demon Knight because all the props and everything just took forever to set up. Like, all the glow sticks and inflatables, they took three hours. But the party looked amazing. Here are some Instagram stories from my friends and people that were there. And it was just such a fun night. Thank you so much to 303 for having us out. And, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You made it through. We made it through the whole week. I'm so happy to be back doing stuff with Emo Night again, but it was 18 months without doing these shows and I really felt like a part of me was missing. So I'm very happy that we're back. Guys, please just go get vaccinated so that we can keep doing this. Um, most of our shows are moving to be vaccine required. Like we're pushing for it, but you know, there's only so much that we can do. Like we're booked as the artist. So it's hard for us to uh, enforce that in certain states and places like that but everywhere that we can we are making our shows vaccines required and i really think that that's the only way that live music and stuff is going to be able to keep going on so please please if you haven't gotten vaccinated please do it just do it all right i hope you guys have a great week did you like this kind of long vlog? Let me know in the comments. I've never posted a video this long before. This will be my longest video ever. And if you made it all the way through, please comment and like. Let me know what you thought of it. Dingo of the day goes to Ashley Green. Ashley, thank you so much for watching the videos. Ashley, you go girl. If you guys want a chance to be the Dingo of the day, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and you just might be picked to be the Dingo of the next video. We'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Bye!